love of mine Someday you will die But I'll be close behind I'll follow you into the dark No blinding light Or tunnels to gates of white Just our hands clasped so tight Waiting for the hand of a spark If heaven and hell decide That they both are satisfied Illuminate the nose On their vacancy signs If there's no one beside you When your soul embarks Well, I'll follow you into the dark Hey, Justin here. How you doing today? We are checking out I Will Follow You Into The Dark by Death Cab For Cutie. Not a band I'd heard too much from before, but this song is fantastic, and uh, they're a great band, so go and check them out. Really worth it. Um, so let's start off with a simple playthrough, just the chords of the song, and then I'll talk about the strumming pattern, because that's kind of pretty interesting too. So we're starting off with the verse sequence. We've got a C chord. Love of mine, C. Someday A minor will die and another bar of A minor But I'll be F behind And another bar of F And I'll see you into the G And we're no C chord light C Our tunnels for A minor of white A minor Just our F class so well Seeing for the heat of the G into the chorus, the A minor and how to see that the F are sad as C to G with the B bass, that A minor, the C's on their G chord in G, but A minor there's no one to C chord when you're E minor and A minor to A minor with a G bass or or C with the G bass, F going to F minor into the C chord. Now, just a couple of little uh, twiddles going on there. So I was strumming four to the bar, just keeping it real simple. Uh, it's all kind of straight bars in the verses, in the chorus, and in the little intro, because the intro is just the same chord sequence as the chorus. There's a couple of little bits where it's uh, half bars. So at the end of the first line of the chorus, you've got C, G with a B bass, going to A minor. It's a very common movement going from a C chord to an A minor. Uh, and in the third line of the chorus we've got this A minor to this other chord which is either A minor 7 over G or C with a G bass. It's the same thing. You just start with an A minor chord and move your third finger down onto the thickest string at the third fret. Your third finger is automatically going to mute the fifth string, so don't worry about that too much. And it, it's, it can be called A minor 7 with a G bass or C with a G bass. It's exactly the same chord. doesn't matter what you want to call it. Uh, going to F, F minor, and C. F minor for beginner guitar players sometimes a little difficult, but uh, this is kind of an intermediate song, so you've got to get used to that uh, F. It's a regular F chord. Just lift off the second finger and press a bit harder with your bar. That's how you're going to get your F minor. So that's the chord sequences. Now, the most interesting thing about this tune is the kind of the folk finger style pattern going on here, which we're going to go to a close up for because you really need to see it up close. I've got a C chord being held down with my fretting hand. Now, the finger picking pattern here is going to be thumb playing the bass note of the chord, which will be the fifth string in this case because I'm playing a C, but for, a, say, a G chord, you'd move it over to the thicker string. But we're playing, so thumb on the fifth string. First finger is going to be playing the fourth string all the time. Then we're going to have a chord. Now that chord can be second finger or third finger, or I tend to kind of group them all together. It's just like the fingers in a little block are kind of strumming. Thumb, first, kid, then third finger, or A finger, ring finger, whatever you want to call it, is going to pluck either the second string or the thinner string, it doesn't really matter. You might want to learn it. Let's assume you're going to be doing the second finger, second string for now. So you're going to go thumb, first finger, hit, third finger plucking the second string. One and two and three and four and one and two and thumb, first chord, pluck the note. Thumb, 
first chord, pluck the note. Now what's actually going to happen, of course, for a G chord, so I'm just changing to a G chord now, the root note is going to move over to the thicker string, so we'll play thumb, first finger staying where it is on the fourth string, chord, play a note with the third finger. Bass, first, hit, bass, first, hit, note. Right? So C, G. And that's a really good exercise to be getting on with, to start off with. Thumb, first, hit, third finger. Now, that third finger can pluck the thinner string as well. Now I'm just changing. The third finger is plucking the thinner string. Second time, second string. Thinner string or first string, second string. Doesn't matter, same as the G. And that last note, incidentally, you could also pluck a different string if you want with a different finger. So thumb, first, hit, first. You could use your first finger again. That's not used in this song, but you could do it. So try and get, start off with that basic thumb, first, hit, third finger, plug in the second string. And let's just have a little play through the intro so you can see the picking hand here. So we got... I'm going to show you a little bit more advanced thing that's going on on the recording, right? So actually what's happening is the bass is alternating. So for the C chord in the verses, it's moving from C for the first one, then to G. So the root note is moving from the root to the fifth. Someday A minor to E bass note, A. To e, then on the F, C, F, C, C. I think it stays there just because it's staying on the same bar. Here we go, C, G, C, G to A minor, E bass, A, E bass to F, C bass, F, C bass to C. If you really struggle with that finger style kind of pattern, you could of course play this with a pick. Uh, be very simple, just down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. Up. Someday you will die, but I'll be close behind. And you can see that it sounds pretty cool. It doesn't need that fancy style, cause it's a really good song with a great melody. So you can strum it or you can do the finger style thing. If you're going to do the finger style thing, expect it to take some practice, right? So it's really important that you just do that finger style pattern over and over and over and over again. Just get it so it's sitting un nicely under your fingers. That's a really big deal. It's about that repetition thing. So just start simple on the one chord. Get it over and over and over again. Then try changing just from C to A minor and get used to the feeling of changing the chords while keeping the pattern going. Then practice maybe C to G, where it's a kind of a little bit more awkward because the thumb's got to change strings. There's lots of things going on here, you know. Definitely, definitely don't start with trying to do that alternating bass thing that I was showing you there at the end, right? Stay with just playing the thumb on the root note of the chords to start off with, and only start moving that bass around when you're really super confident with it, because people won't notice if you're not moving the bass around, right? It, it, you know.
it sounds better, but it's you know it'll sound great without it too. So uh, beautiful song, really really good song. Uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy playing it as well. Uh, I'll see you for another song or lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye. <laughs>